I just want to spend a few minutes talking about fetal surgery in the setting of myelomeningocele. I think it's important in today's training setting that, you know, most people will train at a center where they do some aspect of fetal surgery or they're developing a fetal surgery program. It's becoming popular. And, um, and because of that, I think having a general knowledge about it is, is really important. So fetal surgery for myelomeningocele, the, the, the advent and wide adoption of fetal surgery is really based on a multi-center randomized control trial. So this is level one evidence, not something we have a ton of in neurosurgery, but this is one thing that we do have. Um, this, uh, this is based on the two-hit hypothesis that, that was uh, really made uh, popular by, by Dr. McClone and, and uh, fetuses with myelomeningocele are at risk for losing additional neurological function. And this is called the two hit hypothesis. So the first hit is thought to be this um, congenital anomaly and uh, that it, there's uh, basically herniation of these spinal elements. And then the second hit is that the neurotoxic intrauterine environment causes further neurological decline. So the thinking is that fetal surgery in some way can, can prevent this. So in carefully selected patients, fetal surgery de can decrease the risk of hydrocephalus, preserve lower extremity function, and increase the, the chances of ambulation when compared to postnatal repair. This was the MOMS trial criteria, which is the randomized trial that I'm referencing. And if those of you who haven't looked at this, I would encourage you to at least read the abstract and, and become familiar with it because it's really a seminal paper in pediatric neurosurgery. You can see the very strict inclusion and the even more strict uh, exclusion criteria for this study. So these are very carefully selected uh, MOMS and fetuses um, that, that are candidates for surgery. The tenets of fetal surgery are the same as postnatal surgery. So you want to achieve a multi-layered watertight closure. Um, it's important to understand and realize when you're counseling that fetal surgery is, is not a cure for myelomeningocele. Myelomeningocele is a congenital condition that requires lifelong care. And it's important to convey that. When you look at the combined fetal and neonatal mortality after fetal myelomeningocele repair, it's three to 6% at experienced fetal treatment centers. Fetal surgery increases the risk of many things, including pregnancy-related complications, premature labor, premature delivery, uh, the hysterotomy needed for open hysterotomy closure for fetal uh, repair uh, can increase the risk of rupture in the third trimester and in subsequent pregnancies, which is a life-threatening uh, complication for the mother. So some factors to consider is that at screening, fetuses that have severe ventricular enlargement and lower extremity uh, function that's poor are really poor candidates for fetal surgery because they get all the risk and are unlikely to get any of the benefit. Despite the benefits of prenatal surgery, postnatal surgery is still the safest treatment option for both mother and fetus. And prenatal counseling by experienced neurosurgeons is really critical in treating these, these patients. So prenatal counseling, if, if mother and fetus are both good candidates, then counseling should include fetal surgery. It's best to use a shared decision-making uh, model, uh, which really focuses on the individual self-determinism, and the approach allows patients to participate and understand their decisions and have a voice in their own care. It recognizes really that people have differing needs and values and risk tolerance when it comes to these things, and so an informed decision can be made. This is an example of a treatment, uh, uh, sorry, a counseling algorithm for prenatal uh, diagnosis of myelomeningocele, and, and I think it encompasses really all the contingencies that we need to think about. And when you talk about fetal closure, um, again, I told you it's very similar to postnatal closure, with the exception that you're operating on a, a fetus from 23 to 26 weeks of age in a gravid woman, and it takes a considerable effort to get this done, including uh, maternal fetal medicine, really quarterbacking things, pediatric cardiology, pediatric surgery, obstetricians uh, in, in place, and, and really you're planning for the worst case scenarios and all, all of these things. So it really takes a concerted effort and I can't highlight that enough. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.